In this video, I would like to talk about bringing back subject matter writing that you have put on the light board and then erased. And that might seem like it's impossible, but it's not. And through the magic of OBS, uh, I can actually write something on my light board, erase it, and then bring it back. Now, it takes a little bit of thought and a little bit of pre-planning, but it's really not that that difficult. So what I've done here is I've just written uh, sort of a typical engineering economics problem uh, on my light board. And uh, let's just say that that I, uh, I erase it. And But before I erase it, I'm going to do a little trick. And I've set up a hotkey that takes a screenshot in OBS. And to do that, I've actually gone into OBS in the settings in the hotkeys. And quite close to the top of the list of, of functions, it's been recently added, uh, you can assign a key to take a, a, a screenshot. So, so I'm going to do that while I'm here. And now I'm going to erase. And, you know, there's lots of applications that, uh, that you know, you might be able to think of if you can bring back things that you've already written. And, um, you know, particularly in math or physics or something where you're doing a lot of uh, problems, maybe doing some drawings, things like that. Um, maybe you want to even reuse something that you've drawn before, bring it back, and then if you want to write on top of it, you can do that. And I'll show you how, how I do it. Um, so I'm going to go back into uh, the same menu that is described in the video where I show you how to add PowerPoint slide images into your, your OBS studio. So I'm using the same exact methodology there. So I, I know I'm not capturing the OBS screen here. I'm, I'm just keeping it full screen lightboard for the moment. But if you, if you want to see what I'm clicking on, you can watch the video on how to import your PowerPoint um, slide images. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to the directory on my computer where OBS is saving the screenshots. And um, after you've done it a couple of times, it gets easier to find. And I'll go in there, I'll find my screenshot, and I will add my screenshot. So there, it looks like a bit of an action shot. And no, your computer is not frozen. I know you can still hear me. That's the screenshot that I took of what I had written there before. And you say, okay, Mike, but now I can't see you. You're behind the image. Well, it's true. So uh, just Fortunately, what I can do for this image is I can sort of crop myself out of there. That's the first thing I'll do, but I'm still not quite there because this image still has a black background and, and I, I can't sort of interact with it. But remember in OBS, you can apply filters just the same as I do for um, my PowerPoint slides that I import with black backgrounds. I'm gonna apply uh, a filter to this image so I'll go in, I'll apply a color key filter, and I'll select the color black. Okay, once I've selected the black color key filter, there's my 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 content. And and you know, on this particular slide, it looks like I forgot to to write the the answer here. So I can just come back in here and uh, and I'll, I'll and I can write the answer to the problem. There we go. So all of this was written before. I've removed the background using a color key filter. In fact, you know, if I want to, I can come in here and, and I can, you know, I can write on it. I can, I could change things. Uh, I can't erase, but I could cross out. Um, and the other thing too is that, you know, this example is a little bit easy because it's just a portion of the light board and you could see how I cropped myself uh, from the image, and that's really easy to do. You just grab the image, the, the side of the image in OBS, and you hold down the Alt key and just drag your mouse, and that's a really quick way to crop things. But if you have, let's say, the full board filled, what you can do is just take your keyboard or whatever you're using, stand off to the side, uh, you know, take your keyboard off to the side, hit the hotkey, and capture the image without you in the way. And then the same in the same way, bring the image back uh, from the screenshot folder, apply the color key filter, and there you go. You've 
brought back something that you've erased from OBS. And I will say this, the, the second time after you bring it back, um, it's easier to erase. <laughs> you just delete it. So um, I hope this kind of um, uh, gets you thinking about different ways that you could use OBS and the Lightboard and how you can sort of uh, go back as if you had multiple uh, boards like you do in a classroom available to you. You can look back at something you had written before. If a student asks a question about something you had written before, you can pull it back as long as you remember to take a screenshot. So um, anyway, I hope that's of interest to you. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool trick and I've used it a, a few times in my classes and the students love it.